For my presentation on ERP implementation failure, I am doing the ERP failure at HP. Through this presentation, I will be going over the background, the issues that arose, and what steps they could have taken to have not failed. So, background. HP was started in 1938 as an electronic instruments company. In the 1980s, HP emerged as a major player in the computer industry. In 2001, HP became the second largest computer manufacturer in the world. The meeting. In January 2004, Giles Bouchard, the CIO and Executive VP of Global Operations, held a meeting with key operation leaders of HP. This meeting was held to create a new organizational model. It was a meeting where the new ERP system was introduced. The company's knowledge. HP's managers knew all things that could go wrong with the ERP rollout, but they didn't just want, or excuse me, but they just didn't plan for them all to happen at once. But Giles Bouchard stated, we had a series of small problems, none of which would have been too much to handle, but together they created the perfect storm. Employees knowledge. HP insiders knew the project had huge risks despite the company's expertise with SAP migrations. The staff suggested that some kind of backup system should be put into place to overcome the risk failures, but they were ignored by executives. Due to the company culture, employees were not allowed to have much active involvement, thus they were ultimately ignored. In response, many employees, including VPs and the ESS division, left the company to join rival firms, while other employees worked in fear of being laid off by HP. The issue. On August 2004, HP finally announced that its revenues for the third quarter ended on July 3, 2004. Revenues from this quarter and from its enterprise servers and storage um, have fallen 5% to $3.4 billion as compared to the same quarter last year. The total financial impact. The total financial impact included all backlogs and loss of revenue was equal to $160 million. This $160 million was five times the cost of implementing the entire ERP system. Company blame. So when this financial impact resulted, the company put the blame on the migrating to the centralized ERP systems. This migration took place in the North American divisions of HP. Skepticism. When this failure occurred, a lot of skeptic skepticism arose, and HP's credibility as a consultant for SAP ERP implementation took fault. And HP's primary responsibility was to pre prevent from happening exactly what happened to their own company. They set an example. The failure to implement a successful ERP system as a company who was supposed to be a consultant for an implementation system. Uh, HP set the example for the unfavorable financial and business impacts of poor ERP implementation. Internal investigation. HP conducted an internal investigation to dive deeper and find the true root of the failure of the ERP project. The report revealed that the main problem did not actually relate to the SAP software, but rather was due to the performance related issues. Internal Investigation Part 2. It was found that the technical glitches were small, but the contingency planning for ERP project implementation left many issues unanswered, and we will see those issues in following slides. Looking back. Looking back, HP now point out, points out five key problems that the, led to the unsuccessful ERP implementation project team consult constitution, data integri integration problems, and poor planning and improper testing, demand forecasting and problems. So problem number one, project team constitution. Difficulties arose in the program management uh, due to the high level of dependency among the teams. There are problems of communication between various groups for example, the communication flow between back-end logistics groups and the front-end group could not be maintained. Problem number two, data integration problems. 
Problems surfaced between the previous system and the SAP system being implemented as soon as the implementations went live. Lack of effective product training and improper data management were pre present as the main causes of the problems. Poor planning and improper testing. In retrospect, the company officials felt that the pre-implementation preparation activities were not planned properly. The executives will even admit that the system had been tested for standardized orders but not properly tested for customized orders. Demand forecasting problems. The forecasting could not predict the actual demand for customized server products, which turned out to actually be 35% higher than the standardized servers, as mentioned previously, that the testing was not accurate to what they had expected the outcome to be. So as Giles Bouchard said, all these problems were knowledge to the team, but when, when all arose together, the ERP system had no chance at success against the perfect storm. In conclusion, HP concluded that the data modeling problems between the new SAP software and the system involved were minimal. Ultimately, it did not hold SAP responsible for the failure, but rather the own company's performance-related issues.